So I'd like to ask all of you to make a special prayer for peace. A special prayer for peace, starting with peace in our hearts, peace in our communities here in this wonderful town of Rochdale, but peace in all the world. There is far too much hatred, there is far too much violence. All we want is peace. It's now owned by 600 uh, different people, all related to the club, all part of the club's community. So we really want to start pushing ourselves as a, as a community centre. And by being a fan owned club, we feel in a really good position to do that. What I like to see is one community, and I'm a Muslim within that community. And that's the sort of word and the rhetoric that we should use because that shows inclusivity. It doesn't show me it's different, it doesn't show well, that's the Pakistani community over there, that's the Muslim community, that's the Indian community, that's the English community. We're all one community, we all live here in the borough of Rochdale. And tonight is probably one of the next steps within our journey on that of becoming a more diverse and inclusive club. When you go to eat, you are not allowed to sit next to someone in the room. Alright? Um, so that's the challenge. Everything that I do, I try to do it for all communities. And um, the Rochester Football Club doing and hosting an iftar event that is specifically supposed normally only for Muslims, but doing it as a host for all the communities was like, it was music to my ear. I've done lots and lots of community events in the mosque and in, within the communities, but you struggle to get a, the diversity. And so this opportunity was just, it was golden because it meant I was clear in my mind that we were going to get football supporters and people who support the club. Uh, a fantastic event. Um, I think to break fast with so many people has been has been wonderful. And I, I've struggled myself today. I've, I've, I've fasted um, and I've only done one day, and it's it's been tough. Um, and knowing people who go through this through the whole period of Ramadan and learning about why people go through it and the reasons and all the spirituality behind it, it sort of really hit home for me and yeah finished it off really well with a, a nice meal among some good people. So many people but so many people from you know different cultures and different backgrounds it wasn't just you know it wasn't just a, a group of people from one mosque it wasn't you know it was it was families it was people from different mosques from all sectors of the community from you know our fans our directors people who we see here on a Saturday people who've never been to the ground before so to see such a diverse collection of people in one room was it was really good, really, really heartwarming. I think building on the Communities United work, a really important part of it has been to get like the typical Dale fan, who I think as an adult you don't get many opportunities to learn about different faiths. Um, I think to build in that aspect, so some people have learned more about Ramadan, some people have learned more about Rochdale. Um, I think that's been a really important part of it tonight. Oh my goodness, I mean I couldn't have wished for anything better. You know, to see the young children there, to see the sisters there. You know, normally we, as a council of mosques, we sometimes get accused of very, very sort of misogynistic, very, very male focus. And today to see a lot of the women there, a lot of the children there, uh, made me feel proud that actually, you know, this is about a community and everyone's involved in a community. I'm not a big football fan, but this place has made me actually get into football. And I can honestly say, if there's any club that I can say is mine, it's this one.